Yes, man. All right, guys. Welcome to the fucking sixth ever episode of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly the real low key? Johnny. Got John here with me. Got Jill behind the cameras, man. We're here with another episode, man. It's been a little bit, but we're back at we're it. We're still going. Yeah, man. Still we're going. St- still pushing we're through, still man. Going. Got to work through adversity, bro. Mm-hmm. Got to work through adversity. That's for sure. But yeah, man. We're back with another episode. We're here vibe to bo- vibe with you guys. We got. You already know we got some stuff rolled up. So you know. Pack your ball, pack your ball, roll your J, roll your blunt, and get with it, man. You already know. We if you do here. dabs, bro, I salute you guys that do dabs, because that, that's on a whole nother level, man. Y'all y'all get your torches ready, get your rigs ready, and get that fat dab on the way, man. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, man, we're we back. Ch- we back. A lot of things going on, man. You know, I was looking at the news, man, because I, I be getting the news stuff on my uh, on my phone. And stuff like that like what's going on nbc be sending me all this stuff and uh i was looking man and i was like man it's a lot of crazy stuff going on bro it's crazy man and one of the things i really wanted to speak about was uh i think trump was was actually uh doing like one of these like meetings and stuff like that and he was talking about how vaping should be illegal and all this type of stuff but i'm like all right i mean how many deaths have there been for vaping you know, compared to, like, all the other deaths. Right. To, like, you know. Compared to, like, alcohol or opioids you know, yeah, or. Yeah, exactly. Like, people are dying. Like, thousands of people are dying. But then, you know, you got, what, like, 600 people dying or 500 people dying from vaping. And it's a big issue. But then again, people don't look at it like this. So, okay, let's say they ban all the jewels. All right? You know, the little plastic things. What are people going to do with the jewels after they're banned and they can't use them or buy any more pods? They're going to start throwing them down the, the toilet. They're going to start throwing them everywhere. People Not just that, man. There's always going to be a, a demand for this. Like, there's always going to be a supply for the demand. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll like, you can't it. get rid of that. You can't get rid of that at this point. Yeah, Think I, about I it. Feel, get, I feel like getting it's too rid late. Of that, getting rid of that is like trying to get rid of, like, alcohol or whatever. Well, like, they, already, they already banned, uh, I believe they banned e-cigarettes in Cali already. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, hey, man. Banning banning something isn't gonna necessarily stop people from doing it. Yeah, I mean you could ban anything. You could, you could ban, ban weed. You could ban alcohol. I mean people are still gonna make it happen. Yeah, man. Look at back in the day when they were bootlegging alcohol. They were just they were selling it on the locals. It was illegal. There was a yeah. demand for it, so Michael there was Pong. a supply for it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like there's always gonna be a demand for this. You know. Yeah. For for vices, but yeah, yeah. it all comes down to like. But the thing is, who. Who are the six hundred people that die? That's what it really comes down to. Because if it if if there's a bunch of people that don't die that aren't connected to anybody to you know to anybody powerful, do they really give a fuck about it, or do yeah. they only care when this this hits home in their neighborhoods and their families? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's a good way of looking at it too. Like it could have hit somebody personally, maybe somebody yeah, like, like that was high up, exactly. somebody important, and they're like, you know what? I don't have anybody in my family that's dying from heroin. But you know what? I got people dying from, like, you know, vaping or cigarettes. You know, just the regular, normal, you know, stuff that they got legal that you could buy at the store. Right. But, like, people are not, like, I get it. You know, you can't stop the drugs. You know, it's kind of hard, especially if you got, like, I'm not going to say, like, oh, the government. Like, I am. I'm kind of am saying it. Like, you know, the government's kind of, like, controlling. It's kind of like a cycle, you know? And uh, I feel like it's just something we can't stop. You know, and people really, really think that, like, you know, when, when the drugs get confiscated and all this stuff by the Coast Guard, it doesn't go back out there. <laughs> people think it's just, yeah, it locks up in Fact. a room somewhere and nobody ever touches it. Man, and, they, they <laughs> run off on the plug and go serve it to the next plug. Yeah. Straight up. I mean, to be honest, I always said that, bro. That's one of my one of my personal conspiracy theories. Like, I personally believe that, like, once Pablo hit a certain rank like once pablo hit a certain amount of weight that he had to move you're not telling me that he was he was making all of those kilos in the mountains with a few groups of people come on bro like in my opinion that was cia operation they were making that shit in laboratories (laughs) and just giving it like yo where do you need this flown to i got you we got we got a lab right here we got a lap for you right here, Pablo. It's just like Breaking Bad, yo. You know, yo. people don't want. That's some real stuff, man. 
People be sleeping on that type of stuff, man. Nah, bro. Like, I feel like the government puts shit in plain sight, man. Oh, Honestly. Yeah. Right I feel like they put things in plain sight, and, and it's so far out there that people don't believe it. They people put things it. in movies. They put things in TV shows. And they're like, oh, it's just the movies. That's right. not, it's they like, ain't oh, going to do just... it in real life if they already put it on a movie. Right. They're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it right now in front of you. Facts. <laughs> you know, and people ain't even paying attention, but, you know, what, what are you going to do about it, man? You know, we're just trying to inform you guys, stay woke, you know what I mean? That type of stuff. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't even say inform you guys because I don't even think we come with much information. We just try to, like, share our, our, our perspective. Yeah. You know, share our, our thoughts and share our perspective, and hopefully we get people out there that share the same perspectives. And even if you don't, you know, enlighten us. If, you, if there's something that we're wrong about, you know, just go down in the comments and let us know. Let us you know. know. Yeah, you got let some us more know. We, yeah. we're, we're not the type of dudes that, you know... We deny information when it's given to us. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah. give us some information that we didn't know about before, hey, we'll look into it. You know what I'm saying? We'll yeah. look into it and we'll we'll do our research on it too. You know, we, we don't just go with whatever we hear. So yeah, facts. But yeah, man. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That there's there is a lot of crazy shit going on in the world, though. Like you said, bro. Like that leads me to my my uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about, which was that girl from Ohio. Oh, yeah. That got acquitted for killing her own newborn because she wanted to keep her perfect quote and unquote life as a cheerleader in high school. Man, that's. I got to take a puff to that. Because that's serious, man. Like, And the, the craziest part about it is, bro, what, what she, she's only facing up to a year in prison. Only facing up to a year in prison for killing her own newborn and burying it in the backyard. On prom night. On prom night. But, but. That's horrible. Hey. That's like a movie. <laughs> I'm listen, telling you. That, that's that's, 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 that's what we're talking about. God damn it. Yeah. Well, like, shit like this happens. And I see the future, bro. She's going to make a book and be rich off this shit. Like but the point Anthony. is, she's only, she's only going to go up to a year it's all it's only gonna go up to a year and that might be waved off with probation because it's her first offense ever first so, offense ever first offense ever so, she so you're telling with... me she could get away with murder <laughs> that's horrible at 17 because it's her first offense ever and her perfect life would be ruined wow that right there lets you know that the judicial system picks and chooses who to do, who who to actually hold accountable yeah you that's know? true. That's true. Because if it would have been anybody else that didn't have a perfect life, yeah, you know what I'm exactly. saying. Exactly. People that don't have a perfect life, people that don't have the you know the connections, or you know, you know maybe they don't got the money for for a good lawyer. You know, they're not in a good position. You know, you think they would have got that that same type of uh, sentence? Of course not. No. Of it takes not. money to fight stuff like that, bro. Like honestly, when it comes down to to the court system, it's not even about what's right, and what's wrong. It's about what you can and can't prove in the court of law. Yep. If you can't prove it beyond a reasonable doubt, then it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It could happen. Everybody could know it. it's real. Like that person did whatever it is that they're being accused of. Everybody could know. But if you can't prove it, then you then didn't do it. It is what it is. You could kill somebody and you can get away with it. Just you just, you know, they got to prove it, man. They got to prove it. That's crazy, though. That's 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 wild. How but the that's justice sad, man. Yeah, it is. It is. You know, but it's sad that child lost its life before it even began. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> That's, and she ain't going to jail for it. Yeah, one year, maybe a little bit of probation. Nah, she ain't going to jail, bro. I'm telling you, it's it's up to a year in prison. Oh, but so she's not they're trying to scare. It. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. probably just gonna give her six months probation and she'll be on her merry way. Honestly, but that that's just a, another bit of. You know, news that I read that it, it it just shocked me. I'm like, that's ridiculous. So guys, if you want to kill ridiculous. your baby, go to Ohio. Go to Ohio because yeah, they're yeah. letting bitches go fucking run wild over there. I guess yeah. that's wild, man. That's wild, man. That's super wild. But yeah, fuck that. We're off that. That's sad as shit. Yeah, that's sad, man. <laughs> that's a <laughs> sad, sad ass shit. story. But yeah, man, this is, fuck. This I'm fucking. Giving, I'm giving you my roaches and shit. Fuck it, dog. Cheers. Just Appreciate it. <laughs> they giving them free roaches, bro. Hey, man. I, I, they got thrown out with the rest. Yep. But, yeah, bro. This freaking hurricane, dog. Freaking hurricane. Oh, 
Dorian. Dorian came through, rained. It and poured. Like, I mean, a little bit of wind. The Bahamas, man. Oh look, yeah, yeah, look, yeah. Shout our out, condolences yeah. go out to the families in the Bahamas that yeah, lost, man. you know, family members and lost, you know, their homes and stuff like that. That's crazy, but. Everybody in Florida was fucking mad. But you noticed that, like, no one really talked about it as much as, like, Puerto Rico, you know? But now I feel like, I don't know, like, they kind of slid it under the under the rug there, and they kind of just didn't really mention it, because I don't really hear anything. I don't see nothing on the TV. I don't really, you know what I mean? Like, right. did you notice that? Yeah. Like, and now it's kind of like, why? Because it wasn't part of the U.S.? Probably. I mean, you know, like that's that's the way I'm looking. I don't know. I just don't really see as much post. I don't know if it's just there's not that many Bohemians around, and, and I don't I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people from Bahamas in Florida, and I'm pretty sure that like you know they needed help as much as you know Puerto Rico did, you know. And uh, but let's see. I mean, maybe it's just because I don't watch too much TV and I don't see. But I may be wrong. But I feel like that's how I feel about it. I feel like you know. The hype, it, you know. I feel like there was more hype about the the Popeyes chicken, you know, uh, sandwich than there was for the you know for people in Bahamas. And you see floating people dying, like you yeah, know, it, bro. It's but there's sad, a lot man. of six million of self promotion. Popeyes didn't promote shit, and they got free promotion. That's a Flip fact. To eighty six million dollars in promotion. <laughs> that's smart bro that's how you do it that's how you pocket your I money. Want you, I want you guys. But now nah, listen, listen. Yeah. When it comes down to what you were just saying, bro. Yeah. There's a lot of crazy shit that's going on in the Bahamas right now too. Mm -hmm. Like you know that that there's there's like boats of people going around robbing people that are going to help. Yeah. Pirates. pirates. No, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, that's pirates. Yeah, pirates are real, man. No, it's a real yeah, thing, it and is. that's what's going on right now with a lot of people that are going to the Bahamas to help, bro. Yeah. I think that might be the reason why they're not covering it on the news that much because half of the people that are going over there to get to help are getting robbed. At gunpoint type shit. Like, you pull up, they steal your boat, they steal everything you got. Steal all the water, steal whatever. They're out. Food. Now, you're fucked stuck in, in the Bahamas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like... Yeah, I see. That's when, when when things like that happen, bro, when natural disasters like that happen, bro, people going up into a state of panic, and ca you know, chaos. Bro. And it, it that happens. It happened in Puerto Rico, too, right. bro. Like, a lot of people, like, there, there, was, there was people doing what they felt they had to do. You know? And... We could sit here and judge all we want, but we're not in their shoes either, you know? Yeah, so, we don't know. Yeah, that's true. It is what it is. Just our condolences go out to everybody in the Bahamas and, and, and everybody affected out there, bro. Yeah. But, yeah, man. I know that in Florida, we boarded up. <laughs> yeah, I boarded up for no reason. We got a two-story house. Fuck. You know, whatever. Hey, better, better be, be safe, safe than, than sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Yeah. Better be safe to yeah. sorry, man, because that bitch would have made that left. <laughs> Yo, we, we would have been, been hit. Fucked. It's going to be that one storm. I feel like it's going to be the next storm, next summer. I feel like we're going to get hit hard. People are going to be like, man, we don't need no extra gas. They're going to lose their jobs because they can't get no gas. Watch, people Yo, are going to get nah, messed bro, up, Nah, bro, that man. shit happens, I'm out, nigga. <laughs> Cali. Yo, for real, man. Come, like, yeah, bro. yeah, earthquakes are cool, but they last and they hit and they're gone. And they're unexpected. Nah, that's some scary shit, too. Yeah, think about yeah. it. You sleeping, nigga, and your whole house starts shaking? <laughs> Fuck that, dog. Yeah. See, look, you got you got scared right I now. I got scared. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Yo, I, sure, I was imagining everything shaking. I did, that nigga fucking sighed real yeah, quick. Yeah, I got real sad. Yeah, dog. Nah, but, it's not. Nigga, that's some crazy shit. Natural disasters are just scary all on its own. Like, yeah, I remember a few years back when that freaking uh, tornado came through D-Land. That was crazy, bro. I heard bro. about that. Yo, that shit fucked. Yo, it fucked a lot of things up over there, I think for it, real. I think it went through Geneva, too. Bro. Something like that, but. Listen, that tornado was crazy. And Florida. I can only imagine in the states where it happens a lot. Yeah. That's a, that's a scary-ass scary thing to go through, bro. That's crazy. Real Imagine talk. living in Oklahoma, bro. People going like there was a tornado like the other fucking the other month, something like that, and it was just like, bro, whole towns destroyed. Like that's scary. That's some like Twister. <laughs> seen that, you seen that movie Twister? Yeah, hey, bro. Remember you used to go on the rise Universal. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that yeah. was a good ride. Nah, bro. <coughs> nah, man. But. That's wild, man. Yeah. 
natural disaster is never anything you really want to fucking have coming your way. Like, that's not something you really want. Yeah. <laughs> like, to hear that's coming to your town is a freaking hurricane or a tornado or some crazy shit. But yeah, enough about that, man. What else is on your mind, bro? What, what else man, is do on you, your chest? Man, I got something I got to say, man. What's you up, know? bro? Get it I off feel, your I chest, feel like, bro. Do you, do you trust people that don't like dogs? Or just like, let's say that your dog don't like your friend. Oh, no. Listen, if my dog don't trust you, we're not friends. <laughs> no, that's how that's I feel. That's a fact. Like, yeah. If my a- dog, listen, I trust my dog over a lot of people. 100%. Over that. a lot of people. So if my dog don't trust you, there's something off about you. <laughs> <laughs> they growling at you. They facts. looking at, they have the, like the hairs on the back of the neck start sticking up. Now, I, I, tr- I trust they dogs. Senses. I trust animals' judgments, bro. Yeah. Animals can feel certain vibrations that we can't sometimes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And we so, go off vibes. Yeah, you know? can go off vibes, but it's like there. Sometimes you might meet somebody. You're like, I don't know. There's something about them where your dog like already know. Like, fuck uh, that. Yeah. Nigga. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck like, that. Yeah, nigga. That guy over there, Bobby from the party. Yeah. Don't don't hang out with Bobby no more. That's a fact. Every time you come yeah. over, I'm gonna fuck around and. Go off like yeah. for real. Some dogs are just like that. They feel certain things, and that's how they are. But nah, yeah, nah. If my dog doesn't trust you, I don't trust you. Yeah, that's how. I that's feel a fact. Yeah, hundred percent. Just that's like how fact. do how do you hurt an animal? You seen that? There's a lot of crazy people out there, bro. There's a lot of crazy people. How do you harm something so small? Like, you know, something so innocent. It's like, man, you have no heart. That's a fact. You have no yeah, some type people, of heart. Yeah. It's not even a heart. It's like a soul. Like, you have no <laughs> soul, bro. You're killing, like, puppies or some crazy, like, what uh, the fuck? Like, and there's some sick bastards that do shit, crazier at shit At least than eat that. the animal. At least eat the dog? Is that what you're saying? I mean, if you're going to kill it, at least <laughs> eat it. That's all I'm saying. Yo, John, That's all I'm saying. Y'all heard it here first. John starting his own Chinese shop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm letting you know. Hey. Don't ask me how you know. In there. Don't ask me what the ingredients are. If they're good, <laughs> it's good. Hey, bro, it could be fried. It could be fried. You know, this Chinese people never have advertisements. They don't need to, bro. Their food's too for bomb. their Chinese food. It's, it's just you see China on there, and it's yeah, I go it's, China kitchen. We uh, out China garden. All, we in that it has bitch. To, it just has to say China. As long as it says, yep, it says China, bro. We in that motherfucker. You know what I mean? But honestly, bro, you think that you think Chinese people go in there and they're like, man, look at this. Trash ass shit Like Mexican people Go to Taco Bell They're like I don't know about you But every time I look Back in the kitchen Of a Chinese shop There's always a Mexican That's a fucking fact yes. Yo That's crazy That's and he's a always, fact And he's always In the back there's With the like big three ass ch- pan Three fucking like, <laughs> Moving in Like yo, Like yo like, He's going in Like big pans like, Facts Yeah they be fucking you Flipping the fl- a whole Three pounds of rice And shit Like holy fuck. fuck And it's always like Three short ass Mexican dudes Yeah I wonder how much They get paid they, they probably get paid a decent amount to be honest. To be but the uh, bro, you're not eating no Chinese dog. You're eating some Mexican bro. Some, no, yeah, Mexican, Mexican Chinese. Mexican Chinese. The facts. That's that crazy. Should be bo- that should be bomb. It's just like Chinese in Puerto Rico. When you go to Puerto Rico and you eat Chinese food there, I feel like the Chinese is better. In Puerto no, Rico. but there's actual Chinese, Chinese people. people. Thank but, they're, you. but they're speaking Spanish and, and they're Chinese. Listen, That's there's been, been, yeah, Spanish and no, too, I seen it. I was there. Hilarious. I was there. Yeah, they'll call your mama Picho. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Hello, Gandula, no, and, and I'm like, yo, mom, she's like, I told you. I told you. And I'm like, yo, I didn't know. Bro. I thought There's Chinese, gonna, real Chinese people in PR, bro. Yeah, legit. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like so many different types. You got black, you got white. I've seen white as snow. Look at me. I, I mean, shit. Nori- I mean, I'm, I'm half, but. <laughs> Viking ass. You know? Yeah, well, you bro, know, but don't... nah, you're right, bro. My uncle, he's he was like blue eyes, light hair, light skin. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm the darkest out of my family. You know what I'm saying? So it's there's it's a mix over there. It's a melting pot. But yeah, man, I love my island, bro. Our culture is different than any other culture in the world, bro. Like, we got the most beautiful women. Yeah. Y'all could debate all you want. I don't give a fuck. You can That's say Dominican and all that, but I don't know. Some Dominicans are hairy. <laughs> 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 like, <really? laughs> 
Uh, yeah, 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 going uh, into it, getting sorry, edited yeah, out. Yeah. Beautiful Dominican women, so yeah. I don't know it's about all that. I'm not some hairy Puerto Ricans too. There's hairy I'm women hairy too. in every race. I'm hairy. Yeah, but you're a fucking dude. I know. Like right, so it's it's different. But now, nah, fuck that, man. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that brings up another subject, y'all. What do y'all fucking think about like? If we had to live, like, in barbaric times, no fucking soap, no fucking razors, yo. <clears throat> and your wife wants you to go down on her. I'll use a sword to shave. You use a, short, a sword to shave yeah. her? Yeah. <laughs> Get some, I'll do it. I'll shape it up. Nah, do a little shape You can't up. use a knife. It has to be a sword, you fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. savage. Imagine the game. <laughs> Imagine the game you had to spake in those... Gabe yeah. is like, look, game, I killed fucking Wooly Mammoth. Come to my cave. And she came, nigga. What you mean? <laughs> On a Wooly. That was a game. It's like, I'm shooketh, my lord. May I go down with <laughs> my lady? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <clears throat> nah, listen, man. I, I say it all the time. We live in the best generation. Because having, having to live in that time, riding, riding in freaking carriages. Think oh, about that, bro. Must be like hot. A, like a trip to Orlando would be like a five hour ride in a bumpy ass carriage. Just five, five bottles. And fucking riding the whole time like this. Then we got to fight off cowboys. You know, people trying to rob us too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, who knows, man? Like, people riding on horses with swords trying to fight us. Like, man, like people like, yo, he got a nice carriage. I want it. That's a fact. That's it. And that's what we'll battle for it. Oh, I like your woman. Let's battle for your woman. We'll battle sword for Sword on sword. It. Sword on sword. Yeah, like now, the, the Wild Wild West must have been a crazy-ass <laughs> fucking time, like, getting into shootouts and shit. Doing the walk-offs, like, and then you turn you around. You turn around, and yeah. Bah, and bah, you miss. How many, yo, let's be real. How many uh, How many people do you think got shot that was just watching? <laughs> 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 they both, boom, boom, and there's two niggas on the side that just fall. <laughs> yo, that's crazy, yo. <laughs> Yeah, for real, nah, bro. Really. Shit like that is like that had to have happened a couple times. Yeah, man. Imagine how easy it would be to like rob a bank back in the day, in those times too. Like no surveillance, no nothing. Just a you know, a couple dudes. Yeah. Yo, yo, let's just put some bandanas on. We'll be the bandits and. Nah, we'll being, just... being a criminal in those times, bro, must have been so much easier. Yeah. So much easier. Imagine the jobs for like like a sheriff to run that town, like. It must be ass. It must be horrible. Because you can't I mean, catch these guys. That's probably what they're <laughs> what people are gonna be thinking in a in five hundred years about us. Yeah. They're probably gonna be like, yo, that shit's fucking trash. Like yeah. how could you live back then like that? Like <laughs> now nowadays but, we could see who did it. We can go yeah, back in we time. Can, we can read people's <laughs> minds. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Listen, technology's gonna get crazy. And the next like, look how far we've come in the last, like, 50 years with technology. Imagine the next 100. You know what they do in tolls in Europe? What? They'll see how long it took you to get a point A to point B. And if you say, that's how they catch you speeding. So you get wow. A ticket, it took you, like, five minutes instead of ten minutes to go through a toll. See, that's what I was Got talking about ass. in episode uh, five. How was it episode five? I believe so. We were talking about how Europe is a little bit, you know, Different. advanced. You know, I feel like the rest of the world is. The U.S. is, you know, in behind. But if you want to watch about that, that's last episode. But you know, I just it is true. It's true. You know. Yeah, uh, but you know who's really shitting on people, like Japan and shit, like. China, like you go over there, bro. Their technology is like stupid. Yeah. South Dubai, South Korea is ridiculous. Dubai. North Korea must be pissed because oh, you know, the they're country right there. Is Norway. The Norway. Richest country is Norway. Norway is crazy. Yeah, that's the richest country in the world. Richest, Switzerland and Norway. Well, oh, I believe it's the Swiss because <laughs> Swiss they got the cheese, they got the watches, they got everything. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> now, real talk. They got, they got They got cheese and watches, nigga. What else? Yo, what, what I'm else not even going to lie. The cheese in Norway was probably the best cheese I've ever had. You know that shit was cut? probably you fucking know? straight out the teat of the goat. Bruh. It was just made last year. Not last maybe. year? Not, I don't know how it's made. But I don't know you how it's it. made either. I'm just you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but it's straight fresh. Straight out the teat of the goat, nigga. Yo, but it was fresh. And you know what? 
You know how they cut them? It's not even how U.S. cut cuts their cheese. They're a little bit more advanced. They got a little cutter, like a little metal piece, and it's like a little hole. And you just put it... They come in a block. Oh, shit. Almost fucking everything up. They come in a block. And you put them on the table, and you just slice it. And it slices into regular pieces. Wow. That Every, sounds fucking delicious. Everybody has one. I need to go to Norway, bro. They love us. You know why they love us? Because we're reckless. <laughs> <laughs> Norway's reckless, bro? No, 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 no. Not Norway. I felt like Americans. Like, they look at us like we're reckless. I, I feel like... I think they look at us like we're pussies, bro. Yeah. In all honesty. Well, I mean... Honestly, they laugh at, like, the past, like, five presidents that we've had. and I'm sure they laugh at every fucking president. They'll be like, wow, look had. at this guy. But that just comes down more to do with, like, politics and shit. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? That's yeah. just, but they, they have laugh. all politics. They laugh at everything. But they're jealous, too. Because we have, like, the best things. We have, like, the best weed. We have, Mad. like, the best, you know, drugs. Oh, yeah. Listen, America is the hub for drugs. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm not going to sit sit here and say that, like, we have the best drugs. Because there's other places you could go where the drugs are ridiculously yeah. better. Amsterdam. But, oh, yeah. yeah, Amsterdam is one. But... We have, like, there's whatever drug you want to fucking find, you can find in the United States. Honestly, if you know the right person, whatever drug you want to find, you could probably find. So, like, you got to think about it, bro. There's, there's, like, that codeine shit was taken out of fucking off the market. And there's people still sipping it. They got that fake link. How they getting it? You seen that? Nah, but there's people that have real promethazine. How do you, I never stop. tried it. I, I never tried it. They knew it was going out of business if I like. I think they never went out of business. I think that they they only sell to like a select clientele they type of thing. Private, private. Of course, people that like doctors, and then those doctors supply it to their patients, and that's it. That's it. But I don't think they went out of business. They, yeah. man, they probably were told. They were probably approached, and they were told like, "Yo, like you got to cut back." There's been regulations or something like that, but. You know, I, I don't know, man. They make too much money for that. They probably just invested. And if they did have to do it, they probably just invested into another company that does something similar. Because I know that there, I guess there's like a couple different types of lean or whatever. But, yeah. man, fuck that lean man. shit, man. man. Listen, listen, kids. The kids that are watching, bro. Bro, that's Don't so get dumb. into drugs, man. You know? Bro. People have their own opinions and whatnot. But, you know, weed is something natural. That's something that's natural. All you know day. what I mean? Stick Don't get into natural. drugs. Yeah, yeah. Stick to stuff that that that's medicinal for your body. Don't don't go out there trying to do all this other crazy shit cuz that's how you end up getting getting messed up, bro. Yeah, for you know real. what I mean? For real, for and, real. And smoke doesn't even need to be in the lungs as it, as it is, but you know what? I feel like that's the most healthiest route compared to every everything else. You know, cuz drinking, you know, yeah, it's cool and all. But I feel like you should do it like when you're like you know, once in the blue. Yeah, bro. You know drinking, I mean? drinking is definitely not. To do it every day. Not something kind of cool some, to do. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Like imagine just waking up and yeah, I need a shot. Like you need it. Yeah, like, that's, that's 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 some scary. There's people out there. Me personally, I know. But yeah, bro. Um. Yeah, drinking is like it's one of those things where I had my phase, bro. I had I had my time where you know I drank a lot or whatever, and I dr I would drink multiple times a week, and still go to work and whatnot. But it gets to a point where like your own body starts rejecting it. You know what I mean? Like your own body starts telling you that it's not something you should put into your body. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on. Oh, you hear that? Nah. I think somebody's getting whooped outside. I think so. Fuck it. That's none of our business. Maybe yeah, we're yeah. Zoom. That's somebody's pet getting whooped. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that Not drinking mine. shit, man, it's like, you know, I have I have close friends and shit that, that um, you know, it seems like they have a a problem with alcohol i've tried to talk to them about it but it's something that i personally feel like it it, ta it gets a it takes a grip on you like it it, ho it gets a hold it gets of you really and it's addicting. like yeah it gets like, addicting bro yeah. and then it becomes physically addictive because a lot of people don't know that alcohol is one of the few things that if you quit cold turkey and you're an alcoholic you could die yeah 
you could literally die. Yeah. So once you get to a certain level of drinking every day and being an alcoholic, it's like you you try to quit cold turkey, you could literally die. So you got to play your cards right and just do it like wean yourself off or something. But you shouldn't get to that point. Nah. You shouldn't get to the point where you have to wean yourself off of fucking alcohol. Nah, yeah. It, it's kind of, you know, me personally, like, I like to drink. You know yeah, what I mean? I can't sit course. here and, like, you know, I, I'll have my Hennessy bottle. Like, people know. Right. I drink nah, Hennessy. yeah, bro. I'm drinking you know? a beer right now, man. I'm yeah. drinking a beer right now, but it's like. But it's like we do it when I'm around other people and having it's the environment, you know, for the weekend. Like, if the weekend comes and they're like, hey, you want a shot? Like, yeah, I'll take a shot. You know, right. it's the weekend. Why not? But, like, if I'm just, like, I can't, like, understand how people could do it, like, every day, though. Yeah, no, nah, it's a different, it, it's a different type of addiction, too, man. Like, even my family members and stuff like that, I've I've seen, and it, it sucks because they can't stop. Yeah. You know? You, they yeah. Can't. It's an yeah. addiction, bro. Yeah. It's an addiction. But that's the weird thing about the brain, bro. That's the weird thing about the mind, that you can become addicted to anything. You could become addicted to eating cheeseburgers. You could become addicted to fucking watching TV or watching Netflix. You could become addicted to shoe shopping, only shopping for shoes. Like, there's so many crazy, weird fucking things that you could become addictive. <laughs> addictive. I yeah. don't know. It's fucking weird, bro. Yeah. But the, the, the mind is a weird thing. Like, it's not just fucking, like, drugs and alcohol and shit like that. This shit out here that destroys people's lives, too. Yep. Like food, bro. Too see- much eating. That shit will fucking kill somebody, man. That shit destroys families too. You ever seen um the mouthwash? How people get drunk? Like I've Yeah, seen they, that. they're so they're so fucking That's crazy. They're so fucking addicted to alcohol they try to drink mouthwash just to get the fucking feeling yeah. of drinking alcohol. I saw that on TV. It was like a, a I mean like, there is a small percentage of alcohol in yeah, there. Yeah, I've seen that. I I walked by the other day and there was like it said no alcohol in there. And I was, okay. I was like, wow, okay. And then there were some that were with alcohol, and I was like, that's that's kind of disturbing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm glad. I'm just glad that I outgrew that phase, bro. Like I said, man, it's not a phase you want to get stuck in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drinking, like, just... Becoming an alcoholic is not something that that's cool or you should look forward to whatsoever. But you know, I I pray from I pray for my friends that are alcoholics. Yeah, I mean, I look, pray for their health. I pray for their well being and shit. Cause yeah, you never know, man. You think you got it, and one night you may you may be one shot into too deep, and that one shot is the difference between you. You know. Getting home safely or yeah, never making it. So that's true. Yeah, bro, you just gotta you gotta watch how you move and you gotta start realizing that we're not invincible, dog. Nah, for real, we're not invincible, man. Shit happens. People lose their lives quick. Over so crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah Over bro. just crazy stuff, you know. But um, there's like a million ways to die. <laughs> like that show, you see. That? I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> bro. Cra- that, like- <laughs> that show was kind of fucking funny. <laughs> like yeah. I used to watch some of them. I'm like, yo, that's just natural selection. Some of them were fucked up because they're all on based on actual events. But yeah. some of them were like, <laughs> like, come on, bro. How'd you do that? Yeah, facts. Like, like, how'd you end up doing that? Like, the world's dumbest criminals. Like, ever seen that? <laughs> <laughs> yo, the world's dumbest criminals is fucking hilarious. That was funny. It's natural selection, bro. Yeah, that's what anything is natural selection. Like. <laughs> like there's gonna be people that are that dumb for real. Like they just they get themselves caught before they even have a chance. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. I mean, another thing that would be crazy too is kind of like escaping prison. Like you ever see those people escaping prison? Yeah, that's that's a wild story, bro. There was that a dude. Was yeah, he yeah. did do it twice. But it's That's because he was crazy. rich. I'm talking about like nah, the real... niggas digging tunnels. But the now real... there was a dude that, that yeah. escaped prison, bro. And he stayed out of prison for 22 years. And they locked his ass back up when they found him. 
Isn't that some crazy shit? The fact that number one, the guy, the guy actually escaped. There's people that. Escaped, and then the yeah. fact that he fucking didn't get caught for twenty two years, like let that man go. Yeah, he didn't get in trouble for twenty two <laughs> years. Somebody snitched on his ass. Facts. Somebody like, saw him oh, like, yeah. yo, oh, I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I remember ass. you ass motherfucker. I remember you. There's always a I remember you ass nigga around. Yeah. Man, I hate people like that, bro. Yeah, facts. Mind, like, like, man, mind. even if you do remember, act like you don't. Yeah. Who cares? The man's been out, the man's been out of prison for 22 what? years and hasn't gotten in trouble since. 22 years. Why do you need to send that, that man back to prison? could have been your neighbor. He probably was your neighbor yeah. for 22 years. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you never knew. Bro. That's what I'm saying. Just, like. Man. Know your neighbors, man. Know your neighbors. I don't know, bro. I'm different. I don't want to know my neighbors. I mean, Whatever my neighbors do is what my neighbors do. I mean, shit. And good luck to you. I mean, if somebody try to break into my neighbor's house, I'm going to be like, yo, I might give my, my homie Edward a call across the street and be like, yo, Eddie, you got some people outside. I don't know. That's not my business. I don't know. That's not my business. I Eddie mean, might owe some people I ain't some gonna money. I going to call the cops. I'm not calling shit. I ain't calling that's no cops. That's not my business. I don't know. That's just how I was raised, bro. Yeah. That's nah, not my business. Nah, I feel it. I feel it. Like, it's I like... I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you I don't mean, know what those people are there to do. You don't know why Eddie has six motherfuckers showing up at his front door at midnight trying to talk to him. You're like, you yeah. don't know what's going on. That's not your business. Yeah. You know, if that's your family member or some shit, like a lifelong friend, that's different. Yeah. But if it's just a neighbor... No, I mean, if I've been living next to him for know. like 20 years, yeah, I mean... Yeah. Oh yeah, twenty two years. <laughs> I forgot I'm, about I'm, yeah. that shit. So I'm, yeah, for twenty two years, yeah, I might get Eddie's back and ex- some shit. Exactly. But I don't know, bro. I don't get too friendly. I'm with not my talking neighbors. about like right now, like you know, because we're living <laughs> with a place and we barely even know these months. I don't you know? like none of these people. Right yeah, they're kind of nosy, but yeah. Fast. Shout out to y'all. You probably shout watching. out to the nosy neighbors, man. This is what we do. It's fucking ridiculous. We smoke a lot of weed, <laughs> <laughs> especially old people. Yeah, man. I, I I hope I'm never one of those older people that just sits on the front porch trying to, like, fuck somebody's day up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. That's happened to me. The my old... car broke down. Yo. You remember? The t- the t- the yeah. My... He broke down and the dude was like, yeah. next time, like, don't break down here. Yeah. Next time. He was like, <laughs> no, no, no. He pulled up. He was like, hey, y'all all right? I was like, yeah, yeah, we're good. I thought he was going to be like, yo, you know. Let me know if you need anything, you know? He was like, all right. Uh, is your car broken? I'm like, yeah. He's like... <sighs> and then he told Toby, he's like, yo, can you get off my lawn? And drove off. And I was like, man, what a dick. Nah, that is a dick move. But I kind of feel him. I mean, he, he had he had really nice grass. <laughs> yeah, and out of all fucking places, y'all want to come break down here. I mean, it's not Push my fault. Push your go-kart. It's not my fault. Nah, it ain't, bro. Hey. It's not your fault. I don't know. I'm just an asshole, I guess. Yeah. Like, I need to start being a little bit nicer, bro, for real. <sighs> no, I mean, I get the whole neighbor thing, like, you know, only for, like, Nah, you know. it, I get it, too, bro, because it's, like, if that's where you're going to live for the next 20, 30 years, you want to make sure that everything around you is okay. cordial, yeah. you know? Everybody around you, they, y'all don't have to get yeah. along, but it's just, you know who they are, you yeah. know everybody around you, and you know what's going on in your neighborhood. Edward might have kids that play with your kids. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Tying up fucking Manda, you know, Amanda or something over there. I don't know. Billy. Like, I don't know. This little Billy over there. Going, like naming random names now. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> name, I don't know who Edward is. Hey, fuck it. Edward and Billy and Mandy could go all fucking have a barbecue. A show. Billy and Mandy. Yeah, is that a show? That. yeah, Billy Mandy oh, with the yeah. skeleton. I forgot about that show. Reaper. Damn, childhood memories, bro. Memory lane. Damn, the cartoons let... now are so fucking. Tra- Damn, I almost nigga. Let my whole. I almost burnt half. The of cartoon my now's are. They're trash, bro. The car... I mean, watch. there's a select few, bro. But think yeah. about it. Overall, the older cartoons as a collective are better. Like, now, yeah, you have Rick and Morty. You'll have, like, I don't know, like, Family Guy. Like, there's select shows that you watch. Like, oh, shit, this cartoon's dope. But back in the day, it was, like, all the cartoons were, like, dope. Like, and they started getting just more and more fucking, I don't know. No, they're getting more sensitive. Yeah. Like, they're getting they're, weird, too. 
everybody gets offended by everything, so they got to be, you know, they got to keep it cordial. They got to keep it at a certain level of being censored. It's only been like, like 20 years since, like, they got really, really sensitive about everything. So imagine another 20 years. I'm like, man, we're not even... <sighs> I don't even want to get into that. It makes that's me. Why, it makes me sigh. That's why it is YouTube, bro. It's sign. It's not really censored unless you're like doing for children. Nah, it's censored, brother. But not super crazy like TV. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It, it, it there's a lot more leeway, but I feel like everything is censored. Everything is censored to a certain but degree. Why? Why do they have like? You ever notice they have a lot of beer commercials or alcohol commercials? But they don't have like no, like weed commercials. The only weed commercials I've seen are the only like for illegal states at least. I feel like, you know, don't smoke and drive and all that stuff. I get it, but like, I don't know. I just, no, feel, I just cre- feel like there's, there's not that much like. There's so much promotion in, in alcohol too. Yeah, but that's Going because back. it's something oh, yeah, that leads to that other things making money. Beer commercials. You never see them drink the beer. Facts, they always just advertise it. That's weird. That is weird. Just like when they win, like, you know, NASCAR and stuff like that, or like, they just, some of them do, if they drink it, but yeah. there's some that, like, don't. Well, they'll be like, nah, I ain't. Like, some people That's don't, here. you don't, like, that, that, that just like, goes to show, like, you don't have to like the product. You know what I'm saying? You just do it because they pay you. You know, you That's know, a fact. It's, it's crazy. Some yeah, bro, think. it's all money, bro. It all comes back down to money. But I feel like that's why there's so much promotion behind alcohol, bro, because it leads to other other things making money. Like, alcohol leads to fights, which leads to arrests, which leads to bail bonds making money. It leads to the court system making money. It leads to the jail making money. You see what I'm saying? It's something that it, it trickles down and it affects more people than just like the person that bought the alcohol a lot of the times so that's why they promote it like that because it, all around it just it creates a, a cycle of people that go out there get drunk get fucked up get arrested have to bail out have to show up for court the government makes money off of all of that yeah you see what i'm saying so it's like it's all about money bro everything's about money bro but he makes the world go round, man. It's, it's not everything. But it's sad, bro, but yeah, it's true. You need it to be okay in this world. At least okay. That's a fact, man. Yeah. Like, in today's society, you, you do need money to be all right. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. That could be a question of the day. Like, is there a way that we could live off the land and just, like, not... Not have to rely on the system. Yes, but you need money. Like an to Indian. it. You yeah. talking about like being an Indian? Like, you know, they don't pay any. Isn't that true? Like they don't pay too much. They they actually get paid by I'm the government. I'm not sure. I know. I know some some Native Americans. I know that Native American um casinos don't get taxed. Yeah. That's crazy. That's wild. Yeah. That's a lot of money. There's a lot of drugs too, probably. That's a lot of money. There probably is a lot of. I mean, there's a lot of drugs everywhere in this. Yeah. I feel like, I don't. I feel like it doesn't matter where you go on this planet, you can find drugs. Yeah. And if not drugs, something that's close enough to it. <laughs> Seriously. Like, there's people that get like fucking um. Like shit off of frogs, like. like yeah, like oils off of frogs, and they get high off of that shit. Hallucinogens. I want to do that, or like, or take like the yeah. bark off the tree. Psychedelics, bro. What's that drug? What are you talking about? The it's bark like, off the tree. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Like on Netflix, they like take up. It's like a bark that grows off like the tree or some shit, and they break it and break it, and they like turn it into like a drink, and you sip it. It's like a a drink that's not illegal. Some crazy that shit. sounds wild. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what the name was. That doesn't the guy. sound like some shit that you want to be drinking, my guy. Nah, but it was. It sounded pretty cool because there's a guy that just like he just goes all the way like around the world and tries different drugs. Mm. Depend- oh, you talking about the thing on Vice? Yes, on Vice. Vice. Yep. Good call. Yeah, bro. Good call. That's man. crazy. Have you seen the psychedelic honey, the hallucinogen honey, and the 
like Malaysia or some shit. Yeah, that's. They hang off the fucking bees, hanged off the cliff. Yeah, Gio's seen it. It's crazy. That's dude. crazy. Like, he does every different nah, type I saw, of drug. I saw some dudes that these brothers that um, they had like magic truffles. Like they like <laughs> they used to sell magic <laughs> mushrooms, and they got banned. Like they got sent in 2010. They got sent a list that was like two pages long of all the types of different mushrooms that they couldn't sell anymore. <sighs> Killed their ass. But the one thing that they could still sell was the truffles that they used to sell. I love mushrooms, too. Yeah. I fucking love them, too. But, yeah, so they yeah. just kept selling the truffles, bro. And now they're like millionaires. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they survived that. They're millionaires off of selling magic truffles. That was a real drought. Real drought, nigga. <laughs> if you seen the list, you'd be like, damn. damn. No, no more of this? That shit was crazy, Damn. bro. That shit was crazy. But yeah, I, I know that there's some states over here that are legalizing uh the the medicinal use of mushrooms and stuff like that. I know Colorado, Colorado. did it. I'm not sure if Washington did. I know there's another state, but um but I don't know, as being somebody that's taken psychedelics like magic mushrooms before, I feel I feel like it's good. I feel like it's a good thing. Like, it's like anything else. It's, it's a moderation. You do it in moderation, mm. it'll help you. Because when I'm on shrooms, bro, stress, anxiety, like, all that goes away, bro. Like, it's just, it's all love. Yeah, it's all love. It's all love, it's all bro. love. For it's, real, for real. It's just like, and then, I don't know. I just feel like it's not meant for everybody, too. You know, I get it. I no, of course it. not. You know, but like people that do cocaine and stuff, it's like, why? Yeah, dude. That's I, crazy. I've never even really wanted to do cocaine. I've never <sighs> cared to snort anything or like inject anything or I tried it. I tried it once. Did you? Yeah. How was it? And I was working at Corona and it was a, it was a late night shift, and it was a Cuban guy I met. He ended up buying a Cuban cigar, and you know, it was cool, man. And he offered me. He was talking about cocaine. I don't know. Just conversation just came up with coke, you know, cocaine. And uh, he's like, "You never tried it?" And I was like, "Nah, man. N- never done it, man. Always smoke weed, you know." And he was like, "Man, come over here, man." He took me to the aisle, and he's like, "Yo, man, try this." It was like a little bag, and I was like, "Wow." You know, it was like my first time seeing like coke like that. You know, like it was, I was like, wow, like it was like wow. it was, it was fucking Taca, beautiful. Bro. It was, yeah, yeah, basically, <laughs> it was majestic. <laughs> and I went to some salsa, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> but you know what? But listen, listen, I'm gonna tell you what. Yeah, so I grabbed the bag, I went to the bathroom, and I did it. I, I, it but I took like, like, like I took a little key. And how I was your experience? Was it like a pussy like? But yeah, the first one I did, and then the second one I was like, I didn't feel anything. I waited like five minutes in the bathroom. I was like, ah, oh, this ain't shit. And then I put a little bit more. And I oh, you took it, a big boy bump. I took a big bump, and I tried it, and I was like, I came back, and I was like, damn, I, I felt real numb. <laughs> <laughs> My whole face. My like, dog said I felt oh, real shit, numb. Here I come. Yeah, I was ready. I, I was ready to rumble, and but I, shit, I remember everything was bright. Like, everything was, like, like everything was, like, crazy, Damn. man. Like, and you know what? It wasn't even, like, maybe it wasn't that good of stuff, maybe. I don't know. But, like. Um, but shit, if your face was numb, my nah, nigga, that shit was probably great. Nah, but, I mean, shit, that was my first time trying it, so I don't fucking know. But, like, I, my throat kind of itched a little bit. Did you ever do it again? No. Okay. Yeah, never did it again. But I did ecstasy. Yeah, I've done ecstasy. I like yeah. the ecstasy. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. But it, it, again, in moderate, it's, it's things you got to do in moderation, bro. You can't go yeah. crazy with it. Yeah. You can't be sitting here popping three ecstasies a day, every day, seven days a week. No, nah, no. Nah, I'm talking like, about 15. Like, bro, when we were like 15, 16. Yeah, when like, you're a yeah. kid, man, you, you yeah. experiment with certain shit and, you know, you try it. Just, My big thing was Molly, bro. MDMA, yeah, yeah. though. Yeah, like Molly, that. Yeah. The straight, no, no, but the straight MDMA, like that shit. But I'm not going to lie. I only got that shit once. And that was the best fucking role I ever had in my life. 
that MD, straight MDMA, bro, is is <clears throat> it's ridiculous. There's no bad come down, no nothing, bro. Like, it's great. But Molly, trash. Bro, straight I went, I went to garbage. I want to talk about people on Molly, like, like girls, like 15, 14, 16. Bro. Years, like, just, just fucking Going out. at it, yeah. Ow. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I, that's, that's why I never done it. Yeah, drugs. Nah, it wasn't. <sighs> I had a good experience though. With Molly. Yeah, like I had a good. I experience. had a good experience with Molly too, but that's the bad thing about it. Yeah. It, you have great experiences, and then you do them more often. Yeah. I and then it to. gets to a point where it's like Just you f- you start fucking yourself up, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, I fucked up my sleeping pattern. Like, it was just bad, bro. It was just bad. It's I not remember. good for your body. You just smoke with me after I get out of work. You know, yeah. Like, three in the morning, you would be up like, oh, man, I'm Yeah, up. bro. Like, like, I'm like, yo, yeah. come through, smoke, dog. Yeah. I can't sleep. <laughs> up till 7 in the morning, still sleep. burning in the beauty. I can't even do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But, yeah, man. So, kids, again, please, don't do fucking drugs. It's like dumb. if it's not if it if, if it's not something that you you're already into, don't get into it. it that shit's stupid. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of other more productive things you can spend your money on than fucking drugs. Yeah, like recreate a business and you know, I don't know, make a brand for yourself, promote yourself. You know, get out there. Yeah, man. Me, me, people do different things like. This is more for the for the audience that might be, you know, 15, 17, you know, oh, yeah, 16, you around there. There's more to life than party. <laughs> There's more to life than your friends. There's old. more to life than even school. You see what I'm saying? So, like, don't get too caught up in the moment, man, because it goes quick and you start realizing real quick that it's like, all the stuff that you're worried about when you're 15, 16, 17, yeah. you're not even looking at when you're fucking 25. Like, all the friends, whatever. Like, everything that happens in high school is, like, you start realizing after who your real friends are, who's going to really be around, who you're actually going to see once or twice a week for the next 10 years. Like you're, years. You, yeah, like you start seeing like people disappear. different things. Yeah, and the thing is people disappear and they live right around the corner. They'll live right around the corner for the next 20 years. You know what's funny? I lived in LA. Like three people hit me up. I had more people hit me up when I left than, than when I you left. were here. Of course, that's how it goes, bro. That's how it goes. It's like, I don't know, man, but it, it, you start realizing certain things, like, immediately right after high school, too. Like, right when you start hitting the workforce and shit like that, you start realizing real quick. Most of the people that you hang out with in high school, you only hang out with because you have to see them five times a week. That's why. I'm telling you. Once this little four years of high school is over, those people that... You saw five times a week. You're not going to see them five times a week. You're not even going to want to see them five times a week. And if you do, it, it's, it's not going to be possible. Like, it, life is different, like, once you leave school. But, yeah, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I think Toby's losing dog. in the Yo, game. Yo, man. No, he's losing in the no, game. No, he's not. He's yelling at the dogs. Nah, I'm telling you. But, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like... <laughs> Can't hold that Ooh, guy, bro. Nah. Man, I'm, fucking, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I'm really high, and I'm smoking. But yeah, man, we're back at it, bro. We freestyle. Listen, we didn't come to y'all with a whole list of things to talk about this time. We're just chilling this time. Nah, so man. just vibe with us, man. Crack open a beer. You know what I'm saying? Roll a blunt and just Whatever. chill with us, vibe with us, man. That's man, all we're even... really doing. We're just having a conversation, good conversation. Yeah. But, yeah, the other night, yo, I, f- I fucked Gio up in that 2K. Got my ass handed to me, boy. Yo, Bobby. But I ain't quit. Yo, I heard nah, that. Nah, facts. Heard that I salute. The new 2K, you got it? Nah, not yet. Oh, I'm I heard it's crazy. I'm about to go crazy. get it. Everybody playing. But nah, yo. 
Jill got more heart than you, dog. You quit. Yo, I'm a quitter, man. Quit an ass nigga. I'm a quitter. I be when getting, I, when I, I, be when getting I see in that 20? ass, no homo. When I be when I be fucking getting when I be getting good in the game, bro. Dunking on your ass, you quit, bro. You quit. Jill don't. You know what I'm saying? I guess I don't know, man. <laughs> but you know what? Y'all can't see me in Call of Duty. True. Yeah, this nigga was pretty good, bro. You he know, could have been fucking no, rich by yeah, now. Yeah, I know. No one, no, no one wants to, you know, whatever. But now I give you your props in that, you bro. You know, no one likes to give me my credit. I, I don't really I talk about it too much, but yeah, you know, shout out Face Clips, shout out Eric. Yeah, you should you know talk about it, bro. Yeah, you know, it was good. You it did was that good by time. a young age, bro. Yeah, man, I was doing it young in the YouTube. You know, I learned how to edit and stuff like that, and uh, you know, it was cool. I liked it. It taught me. You know, it taught me how to get into like, you know, social media and, you know, it taught me how to like get into like editing your own shit. And sometimes I like I even hired some people that were like better than me at editing that I knew and they would just edit my videos sometimes too and teach right. me shit, you know, but it, it's cool, man. Like it was a learning process for me. Where, bro? Yeah, dog. That's some, I mean, that's cool though, bro. That's yeah. something that, you know what I'm saying, you should talk about. It shouldn't be something yeah. that you, like, Yeah. I don't know, be ashamed be or ashamed something. Of, I mean, it's just because I stopped and I gave up on it. And, you know, I kind of just steered a different direction. And that's something, that's one of my biggest regrets, to be honest with you. Because, to be honest, it, it's just something I like to do. And I could have been rich off something that I really like to do. But, you know, I found something else. God put me in a different position and a different route. So... Uh, I'm kind of just going on with that. Yeah, bro, but yeah. that that's something that you should you should use to your advantage and just like yeah, you know, Keep use it, going. it to fuel, use it to fuel what you're doing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, use it to fuel what you're doing now and just keep it pushing, bro. Because the sky's the limit. We're young, dog. For real, we might have him here one day for a guest. Yeah, you don't know. Things are gonna roll up. But I don't know, man. Uh. I think we should just, I don't know. Yeah, man. Look, sense, consensus of the podcast, pretty much, man, just don't do drugs. You know what I'm saying? Don't do drugs. Don't. Pop off keys. <laughs> don't. <laughs> People, if you want to kill your baby, go to Ohio. Yeah, facts, because they letting, they letting females run wild over there in Ohio. Yeah. But, yeah, man. Take care of your peoples. Real talk. Just take care of your peoples. Make sure you know. Make sure your peoples are good and and you know. A text could save a life. Yeah, just check up on your peoples. Be the lending hand, bro. Be the difference. Be the difference that you wanna you know you wanna see in the world. But yeah, man. That's been our time for the day. It's been yours truly, low key. Yo, it's John. We out here, man. And we out here, man. Gang, gang. We gone.